Hi, here is a video lesson where we look at sentence analysis focusing on the orange arrows or the adverbial modifiers. So, first thing that you always do is you start off and write a sentence. The sentences can get quite long. So, I have I swim laps at the pool so I can stay healthy. Now, the same thing you do every time with sentence analysis, you underline and cut out the main verb in a sentence. And I see that that is my word, swim. That is the action. It is what is being done. Next up, who is it that swims? Well, I swim. Okay, I swim what? What do I swim? Well, I swim laps. So this is all something that you've had before. I swim laps. Now, one mistake a lot of kids make when they start doing the adverbial modifiers is they want to work ahead and cut every single word apart. That's not going to be helpful because many of the words go together. And so we're going to look at them in the pieces that sort of make sense going together. The next one is at the pool. Well, at the pool doesn't answer that question to whom to what. So what I do is I take at the pool and I look and see which one of these questions does it answer. What for? No. Why? No. Where? Where do I swim? At the pool. This is the right one. Orange arrows will start down here. I swim laps at the pool so I can stay healthy. Now, I see two arrows that I think will answer this. And that is what for and why. They sound very similar and like maybe they could even be the same thing. What for really answers the question of purpose. What's the purpose? So is so I can stay healthy the purpose of swimming or why answers cause. Is it the cause of swimming? I would say it's the purpose. The whole purpose of swimming is so I can stay healthy. Perhaps one of the cause, the why, might be um, I couldn't swim very well and I wanted to get stronger to swim and so I thought I would swim laps. These can be pretty tricky. It's just a matter of thinking through which one do you think fits best. So then you go through and you quiz yourself and you ask yourself, okay, swim is the main verb in a sentence. That is called the predicate. I, I'm the one who's performing the predicate. The sentence is about me. I am the subject. The laps are what's receiving the action. That is the direct object. Now where? At the pool. That answers place. That's where I am. And again, we talked about this is the purpose. The purpose, the whole point, the purpose of swimming laps is so I can stay healthy. I'm not being chased by another big fish, right? So when you draw this, you have a lot more to draw now. Your orange arrows at home right now do not have the word on the back. You only have the questions. That's completely fine for now. So you would just write the questions on your paper. I've sewn up this nice book and when you are writing your own work you write the complete sentence at the top and then you draw exactly what you did here just the same way and then you label it P for predicate, S for subject, D O for direct object and then I put where and what for and I colored those in orange. Now when I use the word adverbial modifier. Those are two uh, words that might be difficult to understand. But an adverb is a word that gives more information about the verb and they modify or tell you more about the verb in particular. So let's try another sentence. And again, reset your board, clear everything off, put it back in the correct order. Predicate, then subject, then direct object. Now the order of your orange arrows does not matter. They can go any old way you like. So let's look at another one. 
Here's a sentence I have written out. It says, the cat ran sneakily toward the mouse. So, just like always, I look at my main verb, and that is the word ran, and I cut it out. And again, I'm not going to cut all of the words. Just cut the pieces or the words that you need, and that will save you some confusion later on. So ran. Now, who is it that ran? The cat. The cat ran. Sneakily. Sneakily. That one tells me about ran. I don't have a direct object. Not every sentence does. So I'll go through here and see what does sneakily answer. Where? What for? Why? No. When? by means of whom, by means of what, or how. That's it. How did the cat run? The cat ran sneakily. And then the last section is toward the mouse. Toward the mouse. And again, we just look here. Which one does it answer? And I would say where. It answers where. Toward the mouse. And we've diagrammed this one. Now we quiz ourselves. The main verb in a sentence is the predicate. Who the sentence is about is the cat. It's the subject. How is manner. The manner in which the cat ran was sneakily. And where tells us place. Once I have this finished, I would then write it and draw it down in exactly the same manner. So here I have another page. I've already written it. The cat ran sneakily toward the mouse. One tip, um, especially when you are doing this more, um, that I told you before but I can't reiterate enough, is you want to start in the middle of the page and then closer to the sentence. So I have plenty of room for everything. And then I'm just copying the work that I've already done. Your coloring in would look much nicer than mine. There's ran, I'll label it P for predicate. The cat ran, let's see here, my arrow goes this way. Some kids also enjoy drawing a sentence illustrating the sentence, and that's perfectly acceptable as well. Now I don't have any direct objects, do I? I need to switch to my orange and how did the cat run? Sneakily. And then toward the mouse. And of course, this is how, and this is where. So this is how you use the orange arrows. So your job now is to write lots and lots of sentences and try to come up with different ways to use each one of these arrows. Write them, draw them, and you can even illustrate pictures to go along with them. And that's the lesson on the orange arrows for sentence analysis.